Hey guys, welcome to uh, today's video. So I just watched Michael Pavlovich uh, show off the new uh, UV uh, features in ZBrush and I really wanted to try it myself and I thought maybe um, I'll record it just to uh, help someone else uh, play, play with the new um, features as well, right? So here I am in ZBrush 2023 and for this example, I think uh, it would be best and uh, I'm trying to create something semi-complex uh, let's grab a uh, hand here in ZBrush. So I'm going to go to my light box and I'm going to go to, uh, let's go into um, a folder called uh, mannequin. So I'm going to double click on that. And in here you see there's a uh, mannequin human hand. I'm going to select it and say, um, let's just uh, choose it, right? The uh, one thing you could do right away is you can press A on your keyboard to preview what the sculptable mesh for this hand uh, would be, right? Because right now it's almost like, you know, like Z-spheres, right? Like a mannequin. But to turn this into uh, something use, uh, usable, uh, you do want to turn this into a mesh. So before I turn it into a mesh, I'm going to uh, inflate it a little bit. And if you want to know where your inflation uh, slider is, that's located in the uh, de deformation, so tools deformation. All right, and now if I press A, I can have a little preview of what my hand might look like. So it's something like along these lines. All right, I, I'm happy with this. So uh, I'm gonna go to adaptive skin and I'm going to say uh, make adaptive skin. And that is gonna give me a skin right here called skin underscore hand. So right away by default, I have kind of this base mesh uh, available uh, to me, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and polish it and maybe a couple times and I can even hold down the shift key and just polish it even more kind of aggressively. I'm just trying to give myself some kind of a fun base mesh to unwrap as a test here in uh, ZBrush, right? All right, so let's say I have something along these lines and let's say Let's say I'm happy with this hand. I spent uh, hours and hours sculpting it, and now I just kind of want to unwrap it. And um, one thing that's bothering me is this right here. And let's say I want to unwrap it, and I, I want to use the new UV uh, tools here in ZBrush, right? So let's do it. So I'm going to turn on my uh, polyframe, and I can see what the current uh, poly groups look like. Uh, this is uh, definitely not useful, so I'm going to do you can do Control W or Command W if you're on the Mac, and just kind of change the uh, polygroup uh, polygroups. And let's go to Geometry. Let's go to Z Remesher, and I want to turn this into a low poly uh, base mesh. I don't want this to be so dense, so I'm gonna go dial this down to like one. Uh, adaptive skin is fine. Now let's do a Z Remesh and see what ZBrush does for us. All right, so I get something along these lines. We can even simplify it uh, further. I'm going to turn off adapt. I'm going to turn on half and do one more one more uh, Z remesh. Now, now I have kind of a really simplified um, base mesh for an, uh, a hand, right? And let's say that uh, let's say you're happy with this and you want to unwrap it in some kind of a meaningful way, right? So uh, to do this in the uh, new ZBrush 23. Um, you can go to, let's see, you can go to UV map. And here you have uh, unwrap. So uh, I'm going to do auto seams. I'm going to say unwrap. And actually, I'm going to turn off symmetry. I don't need symmetry because this is uh, clearly not symmetrical. So let's just leave auto seams and do uh, unwrap. And now if I click morph UVs, uh, you can see what that looks like. Now, the reason this has uh, all these strange bumps is because this bump slider is on. I'm going to turn that off and let's on, on uh, let's morph this one more time and this time we get a nice flat view. I'm going to jump out of the perspective view. I think we could probably do a better job and this is what uh, I wanted to try. So I'm going to uh, change this and uh, let's let's say for whatever reason you want to review uh, where your seams are. So for that, you can always go to Z plugin. You can click on UV master. And then if you say um, copy UVs, you can see that a check seams button uh, will show up. 
and that will allow you when you click on it that's going to allow you to see uh, where the automatic UVs were created by ZBrush so uh, have, as you review it you know many times I would say most of the time it's not going to be uh, nice right or useful unless you're you know doing something as a test or something but if this was an actual uh, production ready asset that's not going to work you really want to control your UV seams uh, like we do in Maya for example and manually kind of lay them down right so now you can in, uh, Z in, in ZBrush so let's try this I'm going to turn off my check seams and uh, I'm also going to turn off symmetry and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my um, brushes and let's press Z and let's select Z modeler right Z modeler I'm going to hover over a point uh, let's hover over this point right here press spacebar and let's change this to uh, you can see right here on top it says point action right so make sure you're inside point action um, I'm gonna choose crease and I'm going to uh, choose shortest path again this is straight from Michael Pavlovich uh, video I'm just simply kind of following his uh, tutorial and trying it myself right so crease shortest path all right so the next thing we want to do is we want to simply create a a uh, seam along the uh, mesh right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click and i'm just going to start clicking along the path where i want the seam to appear so let's just very quickly go around And sometimes it gets kind of really strange when you get to these endpoints, so you might have to do like a little zigzag. Uh, that's okay, right? And let's go over here. Same thing here, I'm gonna go to the top. This one actually works out. There's a nice line here, so I can follow that line. Uh, beautifully, uh, it's a little strange here, that's okay. A little, little zigzag. And I think I'm going to go all the way over here and let's come back down and then go back up and I'm just, you know, you could see that I'm just manually telling ZBrush where I want the seam to be instead of the automatic one, right? So let's very quickly go all the way down here and we'll go back up. And I think the pinky worked out as well. There's a nice uh, flow here. And when it comes down the hand, I think this might be a little bit too uh, too much in. So I'm gonna go like I'm gonna do like a little zigzag, and let's just go down maybe this loop. That's fine. All right. So I'm gonna go all the way up here, and let's see what else. Maybe go this way. And I kind of just want to meet my uh, starting point right there. All right, so now I, I created this really cool uh, flow of where I want my custom seams to be. And uh, now if I go back into my UV map, right, I can select something called creased edges instead of auto seams. And if I do unwrap and do a morph, this time you can see that the unwrapping is much much better uh, than it was previously right so I'm gonna do um, let's do click morph one more time now we have this uh, beautifully unwrapped uh, hand we can come back to our UV master and we can uh, if you don't see the flatten and check seams just say copy UVs and these should appear and now if I say check seams you can see the seams are running uh, nice and clean right just where we put them so full control uh, we can do uh, flatten and from this point on uh, of course we could do for example auto groups we can press w and we can start moving uh, let's do control shift click and now we can uh, move this around we can rotate it as we wish right so 
This is a really cool new workflow that has been added to ZBrush. And uh, honestly, I, I'm loving it. I think it's great. And it's that it's really not that much different from uh, how I'm doing UVs in Maya. So just another option. All right, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.